Hey, how's it going? It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I'm back. I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today, and guess what? It is not Christmas. It is not holiday. It is not Thanksgiving. It is not fall. It is actually just new items that I found at Dollar Tree. Now, I have to backtrack on one thing. I did get something that was Christmas in here because I needed new stockings, so I did pick up some Christmas stockings, but other than that, there's not a lot of Christmas stuff in here. Um, so let's just jump into it. And then of course, I'm gonna talk about my new favorite website and app, and that is Fetch Rewards. Now, anytime you go shopping, remember you want to scan your receipt into Fetch Rewards because you earn points every time you scan a receipt and those points go towards purchasing things like online gift cards and Hello, I like to shop, so why wouldn't I be scanning my own receipts? And uh, I'm literally earning points towards like magazine subscriptions, Amazon gift cards, all kinds of different stores, all kinds of different retailers, and they're all electronic gift cards, so you get immediate gratification. And if you use my uh, code, which I'm gonna include to in the bottom, I was gonna say tomorrow. If you use my code, which I'll include in the description box, you'll get points just for signing up. So. Definitely look into it and think about it. Um, first thing I grabbed, they're not new. You've probably seen these before on the Crafter Square site, these arrows. I'm kind of toying with an idea of doing something like that with the DIY. Um, my new den, um, where my like day job office is, um, has a new day bed that's going in there and I've got new comforters and pillows and such. And so I'm kind of playing around with decorating that up and um, I thought that those arrows would come in really handy for that. These looked a lot longer than the normal um, dowel rods that I've seen. I don't think I've seen any that are this long before at Dollar Tree. I've definitely seen some that are about that size, and I wanna say I've seen some that are about that size, but I don't think I've seen any that long before. So I grabbed two packages of those. Um, I need to get my eyes checked so I can't really see what this writing says as far as the length goes, but it is a 10 piece set and I bought two packages of those. Cause again, I thought that it would come in super handy. Um, I kind of want to save this. Well, I'll, I'll save three of the things that are in that bag for last. Um, a candle snuffer. Um, I had not seen one of these before. I don't think I've seen one of these in forever. And uh, I have a lot of candles, so. I think it's just fun to, and it, it looks really cool sitting on the coffee table, right? So um, again, thought that those were really cool. Oh, I lied, I also did grab some Christmas lights because I'm working on a project um, that you can probably see back there. See that little white tree? That was a vintage tree that my mom did a long time ago and I am going to revamp it and fix it. Um, I also grabbed some stick ups, I love these things. They make the house smell really good and uh, they don't seem to bother, bother Mr. Otis, which is nice. And uh, for those of you who don't know Mr. Otis is, that's my cat. And, uh, these uh, photo frames I found, they are clear kind of shadow boxy style, except for they're all the way clear. And um, I thought they could be some real cool DIYs. I even think they could be cool like mini trays or something. So again, grab a couple of those. I have some stuff down below that I just dropped down below that I don't want to show you yet because I'm really excited about those. Um, but I did find new stuff, so I was excited. I'm addicted to that Stars and Stripes soda that they sell at Dollar Tree. I don't know if you guys ever bought it or not, but I go through a ton of ginger ale because uh, I like my bourbon. And uh, this uh, Stars and Stripes ginger ale, if you've never bought this before, it's actually really, really good. And um, I always buy it every time I see it. I probably would have bought two, except for they were really heavy. And I was only carrying a, a hand basket around. And it seems like when I go in with a hand basket, that's when I find the most stuff. Now, if you guys know me also, you know that I love the Dollar Tree socks. I have tons of socks. I wear them all the time, especially now in the fall. I'll wear them around the house. I'll wear them with whatever I wear out. And uh, not that I'm really going anywhere, but most, mostly I'm wearing them around the house now. But um, they had some really cute patterns. So I got that one there. This one I'll show you last because I'm obsessed with it. Uh, I bought that pattern there, just fun. You know, they don't ever have to match the outfit. I love this one. It had all these emojis on it. Um, I thought that was just a really pretty, you know, kind of a plaid color. This one I thought was really fun. It's like a matchbook and matches, but
But for some reason, it reminded me of like the Hunger Games logo. I, I don't know why, but um, I did that one. This one had some really cute like paper sailboats on it. You know, those paper boats you used to make. If you see them really close, that may, probably makes more sense. And then uh, I may have this pair. I, I'm guilty of buying a lot of pairs sometimes that I already have. The bowling pins and then these. I kind of wish I would have bought two pair of these. I know if I go back, they're probably going to be gone, but um, check it out. Red trucks and gray trucks and green trucks. And uh, I thought that they were freaking adorable. So, of course, I'm going to grab those. Um, what's... Oh, I saw lots and lots of fall stuff that's out already. I mean, not fall, I'm sorry, spring stuff that's out. And uh, they had some packages of reindeer moss and the colors were just so vibrant that I wanted to go ahead and grab some of those because we definitely will be using those for some summer DIYs. Um, I bought more of these chalkboard tags. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I have my bins all labeled with those. And uh, it helps keep me organized. And I want to put the same kind of labeling it process that I'm trying to keep organized with in my new uh, cabinets that are over there. So that was part of that. I grabbed these little horns because I thought that they'd be fun for a DIY project that I have in mind. Um, I bought some cookies because, you know, I like my cookies. <laughs> and uh, this was really fun. I actually dropped one of these and broke it in the store. <laughs> but... Um, it says shine bright like a star, but then it's got all that like uh, confetti type stuff in it. But again, I love these shadow box frames. They're so fun to work with and you can do a lot of really fun stuff with those. And that's everything in there. Um, I found this bag and I also found my Dollar Tree receipt, which I am going to scan into Fetch Rewards. Hopefully I've bought some of their bonus stuff. That's the cool thing about Fetch Rewards too, is that um, each week they'll have different things that are bonus project products. So if you happen to buy something that is one of the bonus products, you get extra points for it. So it's it's really cool. Um, this is a Dollar Tree receipt that is for $55. And um, all of this stuff is great for Fetch Rewards because it doesn't really matter. You can scan a gas station receipt. You can scan a Popeye's chicken. You can scan a McDonald's receipt. You can scan a grocery store receipt. That's where you get the most of your uh, points from, but um, check it out. I did one of these in an earlier haul. I had bought the, uh, it's kind of hard to see that, but I bought two large ones and one small one. That was all that they had at the store. And then I was able to go back and I found a small one. So, uh, cause I wanted two large ones and two small ones cause I have an idea for a DIY with those. So I was excited to find those. Ooh, this I'm gonna wait. I'm not sharing with you right now what's in this bag, but I will share these things. Now, I don't know if you've seen these or not, but so before I go, I've got two bags down there of stuff that I still have to show you. Those are the fun things. Now, I don't know if you've seen these or not yet. These are glass candle holders. What is so cool about this is it held candles two different ways. So you can use the pillar candle like that because you could just set it down like this and it would be beautiful like that. Or you can flip it upside down and it takes one of those tapper, taper candles. Um, I think it's, I say tapper, so I think it's taper, but or maybe it's the other way around. Anyway, it's one of those candles, so you can use it that way. And there's Otis. Hi, buddy. Otis. Or you can use it like that. And I bought two of those because blues and grays are my thing. And that's kind of what my living room, I think, is going to turn into. You can also stack them, which makes me kind of think, hmm, possibilities. Cool DIY possibilities. And then I've got one more bag of stuff to show you here. And then I've got some bags down there of the really exciting new stuff. These are the stockings I bought. I just wanted something with some gold in them and I wanted two that match. So that's perfect. One for me and one for Otis. And then uh, I bought some of these kind of uh, faux command hooks. Um, these are really good. And uh, I'm gonna put them in a couple different places here in my uh, new craft room because I want to be able to um, or get organized. You know, I'm trying to trying to make 2021 be about organization and getting a jump start on it by the end of the year. And I will be doing a video, by the way, that shows off the new space um, soon. Um, I bought some garland. Yeah, this is technically Christmas, but I'm gonna be using these all year round. I bought the red ones. 
And then uh, I bought the white ones. They're the silvery kind of white ones. Uh, because again, I think that they're pretty, you know, you can use those all year round. And yeah, they're, they've got Christmas, you know, up here, but I'm still gonna use them all year round. They're mine, I'll do what I want with them. <laughs> and then uh, I hadn't seen these before, but um, I have this beautiful bar, but believe it or not, I have no shot glasses and they had shot glasses. So um, I bought a three pack of those. Now let's get into the, the couple of new things that I found. I already showed you a few things. You know the Jenga blocks, the Jenga blocks that are so popular that everybody loves? Well, now apparently they have a 70, two-piece set of Jenga blocks. So now if you can't find the small ones, maybe you'll get lucky and find these. They must have just put these out at my store because they literally had three boxes that were not even touched, that were open, sitting on the shelves where like all the stocking stuffers and toys are. 72-piece set. I bought four of them. I bought four of them because I use them a lot. I use them a lot, a lot. And uh, believe me, I wanted to buy six, I wanted to buy eight, I wanted to buy 10 of them, but I didn't do that, but I did buy four of them. And uh, trust me, they will come to use because I've got a couple things that I had in mind to do with those. And then these were what I was saving for last. Um, if you're familiar with, actually um, there's, there's two. I'm in a very squeaky old like vintage chair that needs some WD-40 in like the worst way. Maybe I'll do that after I do this video because that's the, the squeaky that you hear. All right, these are new. Um, I'm not gonna show you those yet. I'm gonna show you this one because there's two new things in here. Um, check out that picture frame. It looks like a little camera. How cute is that? How cute is that? I thought it would just be fun to put it on the back shelf and I think I'm gonna actually paint it um, and uh, like paint it black and silver and make it look like a Nikon. I think that would be kind of cool. And then the others, these are the new ones. I bought three of them. There were about five different varieties of them. Now, if you've seen, you know, the house shadow boxes. These were actually on the shelf backwards. Not sure why. And I saw the black and I thought, oh, I haven't seen those black shadow box houses yet. And then I went to grab them and figured out that they're actually banks. Check that out and see they've got the slit at the top which isn't a big deal you can easily cover that up for DIY but how fun are those going to be so about three of them um, this one says save now spend later um, which I've never understood and then this one says invest in yourself and again same shape they didn't have any different shapes or anything and then this one says, which I thought was fun for me, renovation fund. And again, super cute um, shadow box. It pops off right here on the back. I already popped one off in the store to make sure that you could pop this off very easily. And you can, you just need a screwdriver. And uh, those could be some fun DIY projects. I think that even some of these could be fun for like current Christmas projects, if you can find them because they have all those great villages and you know, the village, the village people, uh, the, the people that, and like the little lampposts and stuff, how fun could it be to make your own village with those? You know, maybe you don't have enough room to do the entire Dollar Tree village with all the houses, but you could do three of these and you could put them together simply by just literally gluing them together if you wanted to, or you could leave them separate. Then you could have individual little scenes in each one. I love that idea. And then, you know, um, my Dollar Tree has dollhouse furniture. I don't know if it's small enough to fit in there, but you could really create some cute, cute stuff with this. So anyway, that is my haul. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I don't know if I'll do another haul before Christmas. Probably not. Um, I'm pretty christmas out as far as DIYs go. I probably will have a couple more, at least one more for sure. And then um, I've got some really fun plans for some fall and some farmhouse. I keep saying fall, it's not fall anymore. I have some fun plans for some spring and some farmhouse and some industrial DIYs. Um, I'm gonna be redoing my living room, I think in January, February. So that's gonna be a fun DIY that's gonna come. And then, um, 
yeah, we're just gonna, you know, roll into 2021. So anyway, that is my haul for now. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, be sure to check out the link below. Download Fetch Rewards. There's a referral code down there for me as well. And uh, start scanning all these receipts and earn some gift cards. I'm telling you, you can get Amazon gift cards. That's been my absolute favorite. That's what I get every single time. And um, I love it. All right, take care. Bye.